Hello everybody, this is Mike Jinnah II, welcome back to Let's Play Fallout 4 Sarcastic Jerk Edition. In the last session, we just kind of messed around a bit, met with the Atomic Cats, technically joined their squad, etc, etc. And uh, for today, we're just going to get the last two bobbleheads, because I think we're at a point that I really don't care about. I'm just not as interested about hitting up some more side quests and stuff. I've really done a lot of what I've wanted to do. You know, minus a, minus a few interesting things, but we've really done a lot here, and it's time that we kind of get into back into the main story again. You know, if I feel like continuing other things along when I do the, you know, when I um when I finish the game and then start doing DLC type stuff, maybe I'll come back here and do other things. But overall, because as I've said, I'm I'm going to do two endings, so to do that I have to save at a certain point because there are points where kind of like in uh, Fallout um. New Vegas, there are points where certain paths uh, do not l allow you to go uh, another direction anymore. Basically, you've kind of, you, you've, you've made your enemies, you, you've burned the bridge, you SOB, so, you know, you're, you're out and we're just going to kill you from here on out. So, but I figured a good end for that would definitely be to do, at least so far for now, I might, I might change my mind and do a few other things in the next few sessions, but for now, I have two bobbleheads left, one of them. Uh, I j apparently just missed, so I have to go back and look for that all over again. Uh, not the Fort Hagen one. I, I, I promise I did a double take on all my stuff in there. Uh, it, it seems like uh, I just kind of messed up, so <laughs> yeah. Anyway, the gimmick for today, which I don't know if I'm going to continue doing gimmicks when I do story-related stuff. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. Please leave a please leave something in the comment below. Let me know how you like these kind of things. I know a lot of people have kind of dipped out from Fallout 4 now, which is fine. I, I went on a pretty long hiatus, so I know for a lot of people it's hard to get back into stuff from that. Totally my fault, but at the same time, school's more important, and I don't really give a fuck at that point. <laughs> so, but anyway, today's gimmick, I have nothing in my weapon loadout, but I decided to keep explosives, so in case I fight really tough enemies, I do have a way to fight them. So, the gimmick for today is that I will only be able to use weapons that I find as I go along the journey today. I thought about doing no companion as well, but... <laughs> oh no, he did the little kick... Uh, I do that all the time, too. Especially for my bird. He loves that stuff. Yep, Dogmeat's gonna be on the team today, because at first I was like, I don't want, like, companions that can shoot and kill people because it just kind of defeats the purpose, but Dogmeat's a little different. Not only that, I don't up- I didn't upgrade Dogmeat a lot, uh, like, almost at all, actually. But yeah, I didn't, uh, up I, I haven't really, uh, upgraded Dogmeat at all with, like, perks and stuff, so because of that, uh, you know, he's really just, uh, you know, he's, he's not a super great help on the team at the level that we're at right now, so I think it's still kind of helpful to have something that can damage another person just in case something happens, and I won't have power armor on, at least not right now. So, but anyway, so that's right. We're going to be hunting for the last two bobbleheads, and then that's about it. There's not really much. One I've already been to, so maybe I'll try to do some other stuff later on. But as I've said, the items that I get in today's session will be strictly, and I mean strictly, from what we get along the journey. So whether it's something I randomly find on the ground or some other stuff, that's it. Anyway, I want to get some good sleep right now real quick. I do want to get my well-rested perk. And um, I don't know if I got this level up last time, but I do, do also have to get a level up on screen. Alrighty then, so before I do that, I want to talk about my base a little bit because I kind of kind of did a bit of an upgrade if you guys can't see. I've, I've had a little bit of fun. Um, I wanted to play some Fallout, but I didn't have time. I wasn't at a time of the day I could record. So because of that, I figured I'd mess around a bit and have some fun here. Figured I'd get some experience, which probably, I, again, if I, that didn't help me with my level up, it does help you level up in general. So first things first, my, my guys have some outfits. I decided to, uh, you know, do some other stuff. I don't know why this person has cool shades and looks cool for the general store. But I figured that the weapon dude needed to look like he's uh, cooking up something furious. And this is actually kind of ironic. I wanted to, for like the armor dude, I wanted to make him kind of look like a loser. Like I wanted him to look like he sucked because it's like he's kind of clothing, though there is a separate clothing thing. But because this dude's so fucking jacked, he actually looks cool as fuck in his little overalls and stuff. So yeah. I also decided to do a nice little food area over here, though these people are just throwing shit on the ground, you know, you, like you guys were raised in a fucking apocalypse or something. Um, I have like the little juice thing over here to all bring up people's happiness, and I added two more shops. Uh, we have ourselves the, the clinic over here, as you can see, we have the, the vial of blood just on here. For some reason, he's a mechanic. Oh no! Oh no, not that! Okay, we, we gotta bring this back up here. So yeah, he's a he's a mechanic. Uh, you know, he's he's apparently working on somebody's spleen right now. But uh, you know, he, he took it out, so you know, he's he's gonna use some wonder glue to get it working back up. You know, I give it back, okay? You know, when when it, when the time comes, okay? No, damn it! Ah, oh, no, I didn't mean to pick that up like that. So here's a stupid thing. For some reason, 
That's right, this is the weapon I picked up, so therefore this is what I get to use. No, 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 no. But for some, I don't know if this was stolen or something, but some items are considered, um... Oh no, how do you do it again? There, there's a button you can press that allows you to change the movement. Okay, whatever. But anyway, I also have the board here. Why, why do we have the board for the guy? Well, let's say you're addicted to chems, but you can't pay for it, okay? All right, we're gonna, we're gonna whoop you in, until you say that you're not addicted to chems, that you're not gonna take any chems anymore, okay? And then I'm gonna whoop you some more just so I get the point across correctly, okay? So that, that's what the board's here for. It, it, it's, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's a very important psychological uh, treatment for this. And for the little food bar over here, um... <laughs> <laughs> As you can see for the for the food bar over here, like I, are you sure everything's edible here? You know, we got glass in the bowl. Uh, we have antifreeze, uh, nuclear material. Hey, look, everything's edible. All right, all right. Well, why are you in the radiation suit? Okay, look, I just like having the radiation suit on. Okay, I don't, I don't know why you gotta keep a uh, keep a uh, pestering me over here. Okay, you know it's edible. All right, now what do you want to eat? So. <laughs> As you can see, I, I had a little bit of fun doing this kind of stuff, so I, <laughs> I really, you don't know how many times I was making joke with this bar over here with the nuclear material, uh, again, but yeah, for some reason, I don't know if I originally stole this stuff or what's going on, but for some reason, some of this stuff is, con like, if, even though I, this came from my inventory, it's considered stolen, so if I actually pick it, pick it up, you know, you can move it and shit, but if I pick it, pick it up, and put it in my inventory, people get mad. So yeah, uh, I originally was trying to put some stuff up here as well, like like a little wall mount, because you can do wall mounts for your weapons and stuff, which is probably something I should do over there. But uh, I'm worried because I don't want stuff to look like it's being stolen, and then people like Nick and everything like, ah, you shouldn't steal, uh, come on kid, uh, come on kid, you don't want to be stealing that stuff even though you pulled it right out of your thing. I know you stole it beforehand, so you know, it's, uh, yeah, it's a very rude thing for you to do, kid. Stop picking up stuff that doesn't belong to you, even after you've stolen it. Oh yeah, and dog meat has some stuff. Caution, hazardous material, and uh, nice little nuka clock. Yeah, trying to, trying to have a little bit of fun here, and then I needed some more power for the lights I was doing, so I built one of those things that I believe was a vault, uh, one of the vault DLCs that you get. Um, with the higher science, you can get a, like, you know, like the fusion, where we get our fusion cores from, those little batteries? You can build one of those, and it's basically the smallest, best thing you can do, but my science isn't high enough yet, so I didn't build it. So anyway, yeah, that's about it for what I did here. Again, I was just really messing around and trying to have a little bit of fun. And I, I think overall things do look nice, but I didn't change anything in there and et cetera, et cetera. So yeah. Anyway, before we go on a little bit further on our quest, I do want to go to Abernathy Farm because I actually had to move McCree away because he kept wanting to fucking talk to me. He just was like, hey, you know, can I can I talk to you here? And I was like, dude, I'm trying to put, I'm trying to put this hazardous suit on the person at the bar. Don't ask why. <laughs> So I had to had to move his ass over here. So let's uh let's see what he has to say. We gotta find him first though, because this place is uh bustling. Okay, okay, here we go. Hey there. Last time we talked, I hope I didn't bore you to death by dumping my life story on you. No, you did. I can't remember. I fell asleep. <laughs> Clever. I suppose I can be a bit well rambling at times. Same. The fact of the matter is, you're the closest thing to family I have out here. As we've been traveling together, I'm finding it easier and easier to share my feelings with you. Anyway, I just want you to know how much your friendship means to me. Oh yeah. No, you know what? I it I think is as much as we want to curve McCready, at the same time I need to show Dan's who's boss about this. I was hoping what we have together could be more than friendship. I I, I don't know. I, I mean, I never thought of us that way. What about your wife? I know she's gone, but you still love her, don't you? Uh <laughs> I was wrong. Oh my god, I have to I have to see this. You're right. I still miss her. I don't know what I was thinking. Believe me. Oh no, damn it. Oh. Exactly how you're feeling right now. Remember, if you need anything, you be sure and let me know. See, I thought, see that's what I hate about this fucking dialogue system in this game. Oh, what'd you find, dog meat? Did you find me a weapon cuz I need a fucking weapon right now. What'd you find? Oh, hey, look at that. All right, uh, I think that's fair. We got a pipe. We got a pipe pistol in here. Dogmeat found this for us, so I, I think this is 100% fair. This is the... <laughs> this is the... This is the only weapon. Okay, okay. I will keep this on me for... N Wait, what? Oh, because I do have a pipe rifle as part of my favorite. Okay, okay. Um, Just for now, I will keep this off until we find an actual weapon, but I will use that later on. So anyway, I think it makes sense for me to go to the place that I actually missed out at first. Yeah, here we go. Pikmin's Gallery. That's right. Bet you can't guess what fucking item that bobblehead that I missed here was. It starts with pick. 
Which, again, doesn't make any fucking sense at all, so apparently it's near some burning trash cans, so... Probably gonna be raiders in here, so I probably have a lot of, uh, molotovs to throw. Oh shit, I just realized... Is that gonna mess with my... Oh no. So I've been playing Orcs Must Die 2 for the channel recently. I know, I can't just stay with one fucking game. Um... I know, but... Okay, okay. No, I... Not what I meant to do whatsoever. Not what I meant to do up... What's... Okay, I think we're good. All right. God, I hope everything's good. I, I tabbed out and I tabbed back in not too long ago, and, oh, uh, no, okay, we're fine and stuff still. We got some Knuckles. I, I think the Knuckles is fair. I found this along the journey. But, um, I tabbed out and I tabbed back in, and the game just was super fucking blurry, and then when I paused the game, it, like, only had, like, a, like a fourth of the resolution here. It was really weird. Can't tell. Okay, so anyway, we have a bobblehead to find here. I literally have no idea where it is, but apparently I missed it my first go around. And I do not know if the game's still going to trigger certain uh, parts of this like when they're going to be like, oh, well, it it uh, turns out that, uh, hey, you know, they're going to trigger it again. So it's like, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, we just found out about our, our buddies, 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 buddies dying from this uh, dude over here. Like, what an asshole, right? All right, well, as I look for this bobblehead, I do want to say real quick that this is me post-vacation, and, uh, just because I know that's kind of important to some people. Kind of knowing the timeline of when certain events have taken place, but this is post-vacation for me, uh, so I have not recorded. I think I had, like, four sessions in a row. I actually have about a week and a half left of sessions, so I'm like, well, need to, uh, need to spend the time to, um... Oh, here we go, lockpicking bobblehead. Bam. Lockpicking is permanently easier. Oh boy, if only I took this slightly sooner. God, if only I took this just to help me out in the fucking... The VR section. Oh my fucking god, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with lockpicking in that. Alright, well, we're we're right with that. All we got out of that was some some brass knuckles. I guess a lockpicking bubble. <laughs> god. I, I know about this next segment, so hopefully it won't be as bad. But, um, yeah. But no, uh, yeah, I, I, I know I did four in a row. So in case people are curious if I'm doing another another one in a row. Nope. I, uh, I've actually spent a little bit more time focusing on Orcs Must Die 2 because I wanted to finish that game before I started the new game that came out. Not recording it, just me playing it. Uh, it's been fun. A uh, little, little on the... little... Uh, well, what's the best way to put it? Uh, they're very... Uh, I don't want to say liberal. They're very conservative with the fucking sc the, the skulls they give you, which is important for the upgrades. And it's been honestly very obnoxious because it's like I'd like to grind a bit and you know I, I I like the game overall but definitely things I wish were different no no we're getting dips no wait I do have the knuckles oh here we go I, I didn't see him beforehand okay all righty then well oh I guess we can just go to the next location I didn't really carry a lot of stuff yeah look, look at my inventory I only have 104 stuff holy shit man all right so the next one is crazy enough near here we go that sinkhole? Wait, no, did I already go to that place? I don't... Th oh, yeah, here we go. Okay, okay, we heard about it. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll go to the Slocum Joe place, just because uh, the other place might have a Deathclaw respawn, and I'm not dealing with that shit. Look, I'm crazy. I'm not that fucking crazy. <laughs> Of course. Actually, I think this is Brotherhood, so, so we should be fine. Here we go. Yep, so we want to go up here, actually. Honestly, I don't know what's over there. Actually, thinking about it, it's probably another uh, behemoth fighting something. Oh, no, Sense! Who are the Sense fighting? Is it Brotherhood? Please tell me it's Brotherhood. That'd be funny. But anyway, this is a, this is a good chance for me to come up here and collect the loot! Oh no, what are you guys doing? No! Hey, hey, guys, 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 guys! No, 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 this is my... <laughs> this is, this is bad. This is bad. I don't know why they... Okay, well... I think it's just good that I just pop my butt in here and just pretend nothing happened. I think that's what I could do, right? No, okay, how do I get in here? Actually, I think I have to go from the sewer. Maybe? Maybe not. Apparently we can just open the door, okay. Just pretend it doesn't exist. Pretend nothing's wrong. Okay, here we go. 
Malden Middle School Basement. So this is where we're gonna get our last bobblehead. And I guess there's, if you've been following along, the last bobblehead will be the science bobblehead. So the thing that helps with hacking and the thing that helps with lock picking are the last two that I get because I'm fucking stupid, that's why. <laughs> now I do remember this place, but I didn't really mess with it too much. Apparently this is a place that you either get hostile with synths or brotherhood. However, because I'm at a point in the game where both are not hostile to me, it, I'm not sure what's going to happen. Or at least uh, I think maybe that's what the scene out there was. Maybe they're being hostile to the stuff only because they they don't know what to do. Oh, shit, no! Uh, fucking gunners again? Motherfucker. What the fuck? I'm going to die, I'm going to die, I'm going to die. What in the fuck is this horse shit? Come here, motherfucker. Yeah, this is gonna be bad. Come on, asshole. Can't believe that motherfucker just fired a fired a goddamn mini nuke at me, the asshole. God, I just for a second over there I thought dog meat was in. Uh, no, no, fuck off, fuck off. Come here, come here. Oh no, that guy's pointing at me now. This is gonna be fun. No, fuck you. All right, I think I have enough stuff now. Yeah, I think this is my best chance to get him uh, killed. Jesus Christ, my guy. There we go, okay, okay. Dog meat, you need to get up too. I 100% need your fucking help right now because this guy over here is mad. Oh, did he kill his buddy? Please tell me he killed his How the fuck did he not kill his buddy? I guess he got the perk too. Oh, motherfucker, fuck you. Oh my god, this, this is like the worst fucking- Okay, so apparently you don't get- you get gunners here. God damn it. I have had enough fucking time with gunners. The fact that I haven't taken McCready on any of these things, he's just pissed at me right now. That's- that's the reason he wouldn't go, Oh, think about your wife, man. That's all I really care about, honestly, right? Okay, okay. Molotov, alright. Okay, so number one, fuck you. And also, fuck you, I think you're up there. Oh, somehow I killed him, nice. Er, no, no, I technically killed him, yeah, that's what the mutation means. I thank god I didn't, I didn't start combining my shit together. Yeah, I'm not allowed to use, uh... I can only use food. Fuck off, bitch. Okay. Oh, I thought another, uh, critical. Probably actually pull out the baton since I have better strength than melee. Or not. Yeah, this still isn't that good. Critical though. <laughs> I'm just I'm just gonna say though, this this run, this kind of gimmick that I have going today is basically fucking ruined for one reason and one reason alone. This guy has a mini nuke on him. There we go, okay. Fat man of crickling, 50%. A cri <laughs> I think I just said crinkling. Uh, crippling. So yeah, I just got a fat man now, so this completely ruined my fucking thing. Alright, I'm, I'm gonna say fat man only in case of emergencies for uh, reasons I shouldn't have to explain. Alright. Get him. And yes, I know I forgot about that level up too. I was thinking about that during this. There we go. Awesome. All right, cool, cool. And we got that as well. Awesome. All right. Let's do this level up finally, because I'm an idiot. All right, I think I'm going to do better criticals just because uh, I've been getting criticals pretty frequently recently, so I think it's going to be a little on the helpful side. Oh, thank God. I wonder if that's for my grenade or if uh, that's just that dude not firing correctly, because uh, he definitely didn't seem like a smart guy. And no, I did not take any ammunition as well, because I thought limiting ammunition would be kind of dumb. Though that is an idea for uh, another gimmick, if I feel like doing it. And that would have made it mute anyway, from the looks of it. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Roboco Industries press release. 
For immediate release, Vault Tech subsidized enrollment to Malden, uh, uh, yeah, Malden families, Washington, D.C. In response to growing national concern for the safety of our children in the event of a nuclear attack, Vault Tech officials have cooperated with the local government in Malden, Massachusetts, to provide subsidized enrollment fees for any family wishing to sign up for the residence in Vault 75. That's right, this is actually a vault. The newly opened vault is attached directly to Malden's elementary school, ensuring a swift evacuation should any attack come during a class. That actually doesn't sound like a bad idea out of anything. And of most of the things, obviously it's vault tech, so it's going to be terrifying, but my point still stands. That's at least kind of, you know, <laughs> minus the minus the experimental bullshit, it, it's kind of okay. Safeguarding the future has always been our priority, said vault tech sponsorship. The opening vault 75 gives all the extra peace, uh, peace of mind, knowing that the children of Malden will be safe even if the worst comes to pass. Enrollment policy. vault tech has authorized special discounts and subsidies for qualifying families. This specializing offer can only be extended to families uh, meeting the following requirements. One or more enrollment family members or children under the age of 15. Enrollment children attend public schools within a township mouth in Massachusetts. The enrollment group includes no more than two adults per qualifying... Wait, what? The enrollment group includes no more than two adults per qualifying child. Okay, so I guess that means that technically the adults get to move in with the kids i mean i guess that makes sense that would i don't want to I, I can't imagine how horrifying it would be knowing that the apocalypse has happened and your kids are stuck in a vault with fucking just like two teachers oh my god i can't fucking imagine that because as we all know we can't fucking trust any adult around kids because fuck fuck us right fuck the world nobody can just be sane anymore please note that vault 75 also permits the individual enrollment of children for families which cannot afford and also enroll parents and guardians oh well, they, at least we know they're uh, you know they're, uh, they're they're looking out for the little man you know special administration protocol upon activation of vault 75 all residents must subje uh, be subject to standard emission protocols details of which can be found in the vault tech personal handbook once residents have verified and sanitized uh, children under the age of 17 or be taken to the uh, atrium, I don't know how to pronounce that, there, uh, there they will be met with overseers who will provide orientation information specific to children. All other residents are to be taken to the holding area to await briefing from head of security. Administration records. Oh, there's just a bunch of people. Stephen, Ashley, David, Michael. Hey, Caleb, Joey, Elliot, and Emery. So these are all just names of people and then other stuff as well, so... Not gonna read that part of the rest of that doesn't seem necessary to the story. All right, all right. But yes, wait, why did I say that this was a vault all of a sudden when obviously it's a vault because I had to come through the door? It's because I got got a little, I was a little distracted, guys. Something, something kind of uh, pulled me away from the experience when I realized that, uh, you know, a big fucking explosion came from my head. I, I had PTSD from the moment the fucking, the, the bombs dropped. Where's the elevator? Oh, here we go. I was about to say, where's the elevator at? Alrighty then, Doug Meat, are you ready? Let's see. Honestly, I think I'm gonna go for the plasma pistol on this one. Now we have the stuff going. Now, I was part of... That's actually not half bad, not gonna lie. That actually does a lot of damage. Thank you, dog meat. Hold him down. Oh, you did not just hit my dog. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Wait, no. Come on. Come on. No, I'm, I'm trying to... Come on, game. Here we go. Don't worry, everybody. I'm okay. Uh, oh, sorry. Just uh, being high off medication over here. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Phil was completely clean. He was talking about a sobriety forever. That's not Phil. Get him. All right, you spot me first on that one. But let's just... First, fuck your hand. And fuck your face. <laughs> God, I've never had an automatic weapon do so good in my entire life. Holy shit. At least in Fallout, because I just, I don't know. And in this particular game, I don't like... It's the same thing with, like, the big guns type thing in Fallout 1, where... Uh, or sorry, the, the Fallout 3. Sorry, the first Bethesda Fallout is what I was thinking in my head. But, um, just because it's like certain things don't end up doing well because you don't put points into them. So I kind of have that issue here. Alright, looks like we can't get in there. Oh, I like dog meat's little hide. Ain't he cute and well-trained and adorable? Alrighty then, let's see. Uh, well... The purified water here floats, so obviously this was the telekinesis. And there's my ex. Woohoo!
For a second there, the top of this looked like they were uh, bottles in here. Oh, jeez. This is pretty open. This reminds me of the, the vault we rescued Nick in. You guys can go fuck yourself. No. Fuck you. Just gonna rush up here and... I don't... I... I... My guy, it sounded like you were moaning that shit. Ugh. Oh, Ugh. Oh. No, dog meat, I wasn't talking to you. Just trying to get this stuff. Is there a shotgun in there? Oh, buddy. If we get a shotgun here, it's gonna be good stuff. Oh, canned dog food, my guy. Your favorite. <laughs> dog just looks at me, staring at me, knowing I have to eat it. Dog meat, no, I don't wanna. <laughs> it's been so long, don't make me eat the, the, the canned dog. Where's it at? I picked up the canned dog meat. I want my canned... There we go. <laughs> canned dog food, my favorite. All right, buddy, you get the red roach meat, asshole. Oh fuck. Did he get me? Ah, oh, yeah, he got me. And somebody over here as well. Okay, let's see what we got as uh, that laser is about to eviscerate us. Uh... I don't use 44 rounds anymore. Let's... Anymore. It's not something I use often. I'm seriously fucked. You're the one who's fucking dodging, fucking not even looking at me. I get that can be a legitimate method, but it just looks stupid. Come on, dog meat. Thank you. Oh, I didn't mean to hit you, dog meat. Sorry. <laughs> oh my god. Ugh. Where the fucking bucket? Okay, fuck you. Oh, I forgot. If they're low enough, you do the fucking thing. Oh my god, it's been so long. I forgot about that. I forgot you did fucking quick kills. I remember now, too, because it was like a whole joke I had where I just kept quit killing everybody as a joke. No, not what I wanted to do. Of course, I have to reload. I don't know. There we go. <laughs> I love the scream. And to be fair, if there's any gun that's gonna make you make it fucking hurt, it's this kind of fucking gun. Ooh, a bat. Now, here we go. It ain't no swata, if you know what I mean, but it's something. I think this is the path we came from, is it not? Yep. Okay. Question is, how do we get upstairs? I need more ammo. Here we go. God. What the fuck was this school doing? Nothing but ammunition? Obviously, only in America. <laughs> My British audience will find that hilarious. Don't need the lab coat. I remember, I think I used the lab coat actually for the chef outfit I have in town too, because there really isn't a proper... I, I couldn't find a chef outfit in my thing. No, I did not look up where the fucking, uh... Oh, look at that. Um, but I did not, uh... I did not look up where the bobblehead was, is what I was going for that. Huh? <laughs> Wait a minute, floors don't just combust for no reason. There's something going on here. Let me just walk into the thing. Boom! Look at that. Oh, no! Oh, that was supposed to be such a good fucking shot. That was perfect. Not only the critical, but the sneak attack as well. There you go, Dogmeat. Honestly, Dogmeat's been pretty helpful. I'm not saying he never is, but again, my point still stands. I don't use Dogmeat a lot, so that means I don't have a lot of stuff for him. Thank you, Dogmeat. There we go. Cool. Give me that, please. What else do you got? Uh, strength and endurance. Never like that stuff. Hey, 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 a power fist. I haven't used one of those before. There we go. <laughs> Wait, give me a second. I have to reload. Thank you. Wait, one more. Kablooey. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Got my action points back. I'll shoot you in the chest. Someone else is shooting at me, obviously. Oh, my God. What the fuck? Well, you can't be pissed off anymore. 
The only thing I don't like about that is he probably didn't feel that because I killed his fucking brain. Alrighty then. Ah, oh, the power fist seems interesting. I never got to use one before. Wait, did I take it off the guy? No, I didn't. There we go. Alright, dropping the batons. Don't need the knuckles. Uh, I'll keep the baseball bat for fun. Legitimately have never used a power fist before in this game. Never. Oh, he's got a combat rifle too. Okay, I will take that. I guess that's the anti... Oh yeah, it's the rat away room, basically. Does this explode? No. Just curious. <laughs> There's probably another way I could have checked, you know. But I, I, I figured, you know, the whatever works the fastest. Now, for me... Oh! I was about to say, it, I, you know, I made the jokes, but uh, it seems like the gunner should have been... Um, that room's important, so I'm gonna go this way first. But yeah, it seems like, you know, at first you'd think all the weapon and ammunition might be because of the gunners here, but, uh, you know, as you can kind of uh, see, some of that stuff was laid out more like how it was supposed to be in the vault, so... Uh, apparently this is an American school. <laughs> Oh, yep, something's going on here, so what I'm gonna do... Reset course! What's going on here? That's right, training sequence cor course. Starting course in three, two, one, begin. That's right! We're training these kids. They were training these kids to be killers of all things. They have a fake place down here, which the only thing I do not get. Oh, sorry. Dude, you're gonna ruin my score. Fuck off. You are seriously fucked. You know that? Nah. I haven't dated in a while. I don't think I'm gonna be getting any poon today. Oh, hey, a radio that's turned off. Okay, okay. I don't know where else I was supposed to go, but obviously not back here. But yeah, nope, they're training these kids to be killers. That's it. Probably wanted trained assassins against the fucking uh, Chinese or some shit. People are going to take that as some political comment that don't know anything about the Fallout universe. <laughs> My guy, how did you get up there? That's my question. There are no stairs. Oh no, here we go. Alright, well I only pulled that out to participate, but I'm gonna smack your ass. Bam! Ooh, nice! God, I love the damage on that thing. You did not just hit my dog. Here we go, we'll do this. I know, kind of lame. Weapon I usually use. Do I get graded anywhere? I want to know if I got graded at all. Oh yeah, access laboratory, that's right. This unlocks a laboratory. So it's a good thing I did this. No idea where the laboratory is, but uh, it's got to be here somewhere. That is interesting, though, that this place is filled with gunners if you don't have the Brotherhood or the, uh, Institute on your side. Or, sorry, if you don't have one of them vilified. Yeah, turn off that. Alright, I wanted to turn off Vault 75 because I need to know where the fuck I need to go. Apparently that opens it up over here? It's kind of interesting. Hmm. Don't mean to be that guy, but I, I don't think the bathroom is the way to access this.
pull out an old-fashioned combat rifle. Oh, hey, look at that. Is the door not going to be opened, or are they going to make me... Oh, oh, here we go. I do have a lab key. Nice! Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Hmm. Need to find the card. All right, so we need the admin card for that one. We have an elevator over there. I'm going to guess that takes us to uh, a certain spot. What the fuck? Please tell me that was me. That's me, right? Wait, where does this game want me to go now? I opened the path and now I'm confused. Because for a second I thought that I thought something happened that killed them, but uh, from the looks of it, I think that was me. Oh, here we go. Here's the upstairs. Okay, cool. This works out fine for me. Oh, of course. Fucking light in here. Apparently Vault Tech knows how to build them. Oh, here we go. Classroom terminal. Oh boy, one that all everybody gets to share. Uh, up top land heroes. There was once a little girl named Sue and a little boy named Roy. Sue and Roy grew up in a very special place called Vault 75. They learned and trained and planed there. How they trained, Sue and Roy were both growing up big and strong. Uh, with one, oh, when one day Sue and boy were asked to visit the overseer. What's wrong, overseer? Asked Sue. Why are you crying, overseer? Said Roy. It's just awful, cried the overseer, wiping a tear from her eye. Have you children ever heard of Up Top Land? Sue and Roy blinked and shook their heads. What's that, Overseer? They asked. Oh, it's a terrible place, began the Overseer, and she told the children about Up Top Land. She told them about people living there and how they weren't safe or strong like the children of Vault 75. Monsters attacked them and evil bandits stole their food and it was no place for little children to grow up. No, not at all. Those poor people, exclaimed Sue. What about Roy? Roy hasn't said a fucking thing. Oh, here we go. Why, why does nobody help them, wondered Roy. That's just it, children, the overseer told them. They need somebody big and strong to protect them. Who will help them, Sue and Roy asked. One day, children, you will, said the overseer. That's why you do your best at class and training every day so you can grow up big and strong and go uh, to up top land and uh oh a happy oh it's how you can make up top land a happy and safe place for everyone a place for the poor people who live there so I laughed at that and ran to their lessons eager to help oh, of course today's lesson uh oh jeez oh damn these kids were young k through 8th uh, grade from the looks of it I'm guessing all right so no lesson here no lesson here Okay, so nothing we can see, but okay. So they basically, I mean, again, it, Vault Tech has their constant experiments, it makes sense, but they were just constantly teaching these uh, kids as they went along, and then, again, as you can see, they're with their little course over there, they're also training them. So my question is, was that the, the original goal? Oh, hey, here's toys and stuff, so this is where the kids were. What fucking enemies nearby, asshole? I was trying to avoid taking a stim pack, because everyone thinks I'm a druggie for some reason. This is what I have to say to your bullshit. Probably just another room with kid shit in it. Nothing that I need. Question is, how do we get over there? I could probably drump. Uh, drump. <laughs> I feel like that's a... Uh... Someone trying to make a political joke. All right, and go! Look at that shit. Find the card. Okay, well, that didn't work. That didn't work. All right, well, I have no idea where to find this card at. I'm go. Oh, wait, here we go. Miss this place in here. Huh? You saw nothing. Damn it. Come on, my guy. I miss my fucking... Of course, there's a dude up here. There we go. <laughs> that was hilarious. My guy, they didn't give you a gun? Oh, I feel bad for you. You know what? I'm gonna let the dog get him. The dog deserves to get the... Come on, dog meat. Come on, dog meat. You can do it. You can do it. Alright, well, I guess I'll just do this. No, I wanna do the... I wanna do the kill. There we go. Wait, what the fuck was that? Dog meat, I was gonna do my finishing animation and you just kind of popped in and ruined it. Bad boy. Bad. You let me do my cool shit. But no! Damn it, oh, that didn't work. How the fuck did that dude get up there? 
So it looks like this was the playground of the place, but, uh... Personally not a fan of it. Alright, as long as I have to find the card. Damn it. Alright, neither of that, those guys have the admin card, so this is going to be a bit of a journey. No idea where to look for this thing. I, I genuinely hope they didn't put this in a spot that's easily uh, lost. You know, something stupid happens and it just fucking flies away and it's hard, it's either hard to see or it fucking, you know, goes to the fucking floor. Oh, hey! I don't see that guy in here. I want to do a finisher move now. <laughs> I kind of got into it. I'm just like, hey, I want to do, I want to do finishing moves and shit on these guys because it's funny. What the hell? Oh, here we go. There's somebody up there. That's why. Interesting. Sorry, I'm looking around. I'm checking all the bodies again just to make sure I didn't miss anything, even though they usually put the, the stuff important to the bodies at the top. Because I have no idea where an admin card's at. Apparently there's a way to get up there, but I don't know how. Yeah, it's obviously attached to, like, the other rooms and shit. Might just end up uh, checking the wiki, honestly, just because I don't want to waste everybody's time right now. 